Judy, the state rep Christmas party was held last night in a downstate restaurant and catering hall with photos from the political event raising the question, what COVID rules? Not a mask in sight and the attendees seated at round tables of eight just a few feet apart. The Christmas party invitation went out from Republican Illinois State Representative Brad Halbrook for a 6 p.m. dinner, followed by a program and gun raffle featuring former state rep Jeannie Ives, who just lost a congressional race. And the room appears full from photos posted on the Facebook page of Halbrook's colleague in the General Assembly, Representative Darren Bailey, who just won a seat in the Mr. Illinois Speaker. State Senate. Both men from districts near Decatur in Champaign. In one photo, Senator-elect Bailey is seen working the room, leaning over as he listens to someone at a table, no one wearing masks. Governor Pritzker's Phase 3 emergency state health rules do not allow any indoor restaurant or bar service or any gatherings at banquet centers, public or private. And even if this dinner had been held outside, face coverings would have been required. Senator-elect Bailey has opposed the governor's COVID-19 orders from day one, leading legal action that challenges Pritzker's actions as excessive. Bailey was thrown out of a General Assembly session in May for refusing to wear a mask. His crusade has continued this week on Facebook Live talking about the lawsuit. If we would have never uh, filed this lawsuit, um, where, where would we be at? What would we be doing today? What, what, what would look different? Would we just all follow like sheep and stay home? Bailey says the General Assembly needs to meet in person and develop protocols, calling the Pritzker administration tyrannical. The governor has repeatedly said Bailey's behavior is endangering people. Meantime, Bailey's invitations are out for his own Christmas party fundraiser, that one in 10 days at a convention center in downstate Effingham. Capacity, 1,500. State Representative Halbrook and Senator-elect Bailey did not respond to several messages left today by the ABC7i team, and we've not heard back from the attorney handling Bailey's lawsuit. That restaurant in the village of Arthur, Illinois, also declined comment, but Illinois state police officials tonight tell the I team they issued a COVID-related violation of the restaurant on November 17th, unrelated to last night's event, but the restaurant advertises it is open regularly with lunch and dinner buffets. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.